I want to continue talking about productivity, keeping on top of your calendar, all of your appointments, birthdays, meetings. That is the next big challenge to undertake once you've got an email strategy in place. I use several different web-based services for coordinating my life. Now, to be fair, I could get by with just one, but I like to see all of the options. As far as most people are concerned, though, the calendars within Hotmail, Gmail, or Yahoo will do a great job giving you web-based calendars that you can sync to your computer and then allow you to share or access them from any web browser. Now, I also use several other applications to keep me up to date as far as my calendaring goes. I'm going to show you my strategy right now. And for me, calendars all start within Outlook. This I have to have one place that all of my appointments go to start the whole process. So as new appointments come up, I put them right here into Outlook right away. And then on a daily basis, I sync Outlook to my BlackBerry, which always is on my hip. So I've always got all of my appointments and all of my contacts available to me as I travel around. But then I need to actually get other people informed of what's happening with my schedule as well. And that's where some of the other applications come into play. So what I do is I take my Outlook calendar here and I share it with an application called AirSet that we use to manage all of our calendars within the Dotto Tech family. And we showed you this product last year on the show. It's a really nice shared calendar that'll do a bunch of other things as well but for us the heart of the product is this calendar now I don't actually have to go in and recreate all of my entries here within AirSet instead I use something called AirSet desktop sync which syncs Outlook to the internet and it moves all of my contacts and all of my calendar appointments up into my personal calendar on AirSet. Now everybody within my team can't see my personal calendar. Instead what I do, I mean they all don't need to know what day I'm getting my legs waxed, do they? But they do need to know when I'm out of town. So what I do is I find my traveling engagements or anything that has to be shared, I open up those appointments and I click on the sharing tab and I ask it here to share with the Dotto Tech group, the Dotto Tech calendar, which everybody has access to. So if I close this appointment down and take a look at the Dotto Tech calendar, we will see there is my trip to Saskatoon earlier this month. So everybody on my team knows that Steve's out of town that week. Don't ask him to do anything. That's my first strategy as far as dealing with my calendar, sharing my information with everybody else on my team. Now, the second thing that I had to figure out how to do is share my calendar amongst multiple platforms because in Outlook, I've got all of my appointments but I also want them on my Mac within iCal. So how is I going to get them from one to the other? Well, for that, I use another web application called Plaxo, which I've shown you before on the show as well. Plaxo is really designed for sharing contacts back and forth, but it does a great job with calendars as well. And I can access my calendar here on Plaxo, which I've synced from Outlook as well. So here's all the same appointments within Plaxo, but Plaxo has the ability to sync with other platforms besides Windows. So if I look down here in the bottom, I can also sync it with my MacBook. So now I sync my Outlook to Plaxo, Plaxo syncs back to my Mac, so I've got the same calendar appointments in both platforms. I'm really very efficiently coordinated between all of my calendars. That's what being efficient with all of your different productivity tools is all about, finding a strategy that works for you. Now, there's a lot of good choices out there for shared calendars or for backing up your calendar in order to access it from web browsers. And I've shown you several. I don't really think it's a good idea to use multiple calendars. Find the one that has the features and services that you want and stick to it. And that's all the time we have today on Dotto Tech. Thanks for joining us. If you want more information about anything we've covered on the show, please drop by our website. We will have all of the links to all of the different calendar sites that we've talked about here today on the show, as well as streaming content. You can view podcasts there, read our blog, make sure you drop by dottotech.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time right here on Dottotech.